good afternoon to all today we are going to have a look on the theory and examples of three phase transform in the last few lectures we have studied different types of single phase transformer their working principles emf equations then some numericals efficiency regulation losses and the numericals based on losses and efficiency so now uh, for the last part of this chapter we are going to have a look on the three phase transformers okay it is very similar to the single phase transformer but the applications are different these are used for three phase supplies and high power transmission systems okay these are also used for stepping up and stepping down the high voltages okay in different stages of power transmission system like generation transmission distribution utilization etc and these transformers these are made up of three sets of primary and secondary windings each set is wound on one leg of an iron core okay so it has three legs like in case of a single phase transformer it has <coughs> Uh, two legs and on the both legs windings are installed so here it has three different legs on each of the leg winding is installed and core is also made up of iron okay essentially it looks like three single phase transformer sharing a joint core okay you can see in this figure so why do we want three phase transformer okay now we know that our electric grid is using three phase power dis distribution system because uh, this makes us okay or it allows us higher transmission at lower current values or amperage okay because of this it is possible for us to use higher gauge like okay thin copper wire and anyway, which reduces material cost and labor lost labor cost also this is the uh, main reason why we need three phase transformer to step up and step down the higher voltages so right uh, work talking on the construction so three phase transformer are passive machines okay passive machines that passes electric energy between the circuits okay we all know that so in the secondary circuit of the transformer a magnetic flux induces an electromotive force we okay emf so it increases or decreases voltages without alternation of the frequency there are different kinds of electrical systems and therefore transformers have to operate alongside the compatible systems so a three phase transformer works with a three phase ac electric system to provide consumers with stable and device safe electricity okay so depending on the industry or application the size of the transformer the design volt ampere rating and load bearing capabilities of the three phase transformer will differ okay so the construction of transformer okay it can be constructed by using common magnetic core okay this kind of sheets which are used for the core you can see here for both primary and secondary windings also in case of single phase transformer this kind of cores are used as we have seen earlier okay now types of construction okay so there are basically again two types shell type and core type now we are going to have a look on the core type transformer okay so in case of this core type transformer the core has three different limbs limb number 1 limb number 2 limb number 3 okay within the same plane so each limb contains primary and secondary windings and these windings are evenly split among the three limbs it's not uncommon to hear 
of high voltage HV and low voltage ELV windings. So as of low voltage windings, okay, as of low voltage windings, it is easier to insulate that winding, okay, and also these windings are closer to the core than the higher voltage coils. And the later windings are wrapped around the former, okay, with insulative material between the two windings. This construction has three windings magnetically linked with each other with one winding using the other pair of limbs as return path for its magnetic circuit okay this is the basic construction of core type transformer using stack lamination second is shell type so this kind of shell type transformer is three separate single phase transformer okay here we have only one transformer but in this case we have three different single phase separate transformer these three phases of this transformer have magnetic field okay virtually independent and it this transformer core has five limbs you can see here okay depending upon application and here the high voltage winding and low voltage windings exist around the three main limbs like the core type transformer the low voltage winding is near to the core okay the two outermost limb okay these limbs outermost this serves as the flux return paths and this uh, magnetically devices in two as the field approaches the yoke so it's common for the outer limb and the yoke to be half the size of the main limbs okay you can also decrease the transformers height by reducing the yoke size now basic working of a three phase transformer okay so in for the working to understand it better way we have to consider a three phase transformer like this in which the primary is connected to the three phase AC supply primary okay three phase AC supply you can see here second <coughs> so when the primary is excited so three phases are given here okay so when the primary is excited with the three phase supply source alternating current source three currents are started flowing through individual phase windings okay like i1 here i2 here and i3 here so this current produce magnetic fluxes in the respective cores and uh, in three phase system at any instant the sum of all the fluxes is same okay so now because of these fluxes in the secondary winding there will be induction of an emf electromotive force okay in the respective phase such that they maintain their phase angle between them okay as we have seen in the single phase transformer so now these emfs electromotive force drive the currents in the secondary and hence with the load so depends on the type of connection we are using and number of turns on each phases the voltage induced will be varied for okay for obtaining step up or step down of the different voltages now before going to the connection let us see some um, different uh, means the construction of a three phase transform okay so what are the different uh, parts okay vital parts first one is insulation okay so insulation in uh, case of transformer it acts as a barrier okay which separates winding from the core again transformer oil is required the transformer oil has two main functions okay first one is insulation and second one is, is cooling so the oil insulation properties prevent electricity from shorting and arcing okay and this oil acts as a coolant also by transporting away the heat from the core and the windings then thermometers are also used to monitor the temperature of the oil then pressure relief system is also used the pressure relief system as a part of safety protocol they are used they diffuse over pressure situation 
when oil okay when oil flashes out because of short circuit cooler is also there the cooling system cools the coolant that is the oil it cools down the hot oil via water or air cool tubes the coolant is then returned to the core and the windings then we are using tank okay those the tank of the transformer protects the transformer windings and core from external conditions and holds the coolant then oil conservator so oil conservator is a vessel it is installed separately from the tank this helps to hold oil and it has expanded due to heating in windings and the core then voltage voltage regulators are used okay so these voltage regulators it alter the output voltage okay which tends to decrease during loaded conditions then gas actuated relay okay these are called as uh, buckholz relay it holds released gas bubbling from the transformer tank and uh, seeing this free gas indicates there is a problem with the transformer and last one is the breather breather work to keep the transformer oil dry okay this breather remove moisture from the air pockets above the conservator oil level okay so these are the basic construction parts of a transformer now connections we are going to have a look so starting off with the primary and secondary windings they are connected in different ways okay that is called as the connection of a three phase transformer such like as in delta connection or star or combination of these two i think you have studied star delta connections in a basic electrical networks okay so that is uh, if you are not studied i will tell you how it is this you can see here is a star connection and this you can see here is a delta connection okay so the most commonly used connection depending upon the suitable conditions are star delta delta star delta delta and star star okay so interchanging of these connections make your transformer work efficiently so now first of all we are going to have a look on star delta connection so this connection you can see the diagram here so primary is of star secondary is of delta connection so to so you can see here r y b means red y yellow red yellow and blue and neutral okay three phases and neutral and this is of star connection now this is for the delta r y b so star has a neutral point delta has no neutral points okay so you can see here transformer 1 2 3 are connected okay and uh, here you can see from for the first phase of a transformer is connected with the r okay then is connected with the n means first phase second phase third phase okay three phases and then output they have connected with a common point and ryb okay so this is used where the voltage is to be stepped down okay applications are stepping down of the voltage for so for example at the end of the transmission line it is used means at the distribution level it is also employed in moderately low voltage distribution circuits for stepping down from transmission voltages of around 4000 or 8000 volt that is 8 kV to 230 volt okay 8 kV to 230 volt and also 115 volts so now <coughs> this has the advantage is like so the star connection here takes an advantage of the fact that one leg of a y means star you can see here the mouse star or the line to neutral voltage is less than the line to line voltage by a root 3 factor okay so that is the formula for star v is equal to root 3 vph so this is uh, especially important when the primary voltage is few hundred thousand volts okay so that is why it is suited for low voltage applications for stepping down and this combination of star and delta 
has have a phase shift between the primary and secondary voltages okay so it has 30 degree phase shift you can see a 30 degree phase shift this means that a star delta transformer bank cannot be parallel with either a star star or a delta delta okay the phasor difference the phasor voltage difference between the two systems will be around sin 30 which is 0.5 times the secondary voltages okay so this would also cause excessive circulating current between the transformer banks okay so you can see here the theory is written over here the connections I have already told you next one is we are going to have a look on also we have seen the advantage and disadvantage of this star delta connection okay and applications it is used for stepping down low voltages next one is delta star connection so you can see here the diagram so at the primary side there is a delta connection at the secondary we are having star connection okay you can see here there is a common secondary and primary they are connected with the r y and b this is also has three 30 degree phase displacement okay of voltage at the secondary it consists of okay you can see here at the secondary first one with the neutral for r phase okay then they have connected a common port also here for neutral and then y phase and then b phase so it is used for stepping up of the voltage it is quite uh, anonym of star delta connection and it is commonly employed in sending and or starting of high tension transmission system okay so in this connection the primary is connected in delta fashion as i told earlier and secondary is connected in star fashion so that three phase four wire system at the secondary is possible for different applications for stepping up of the voltage now so in case of <coughs> delta connection the ratio of secondary to primary voltage is two to three times the transmission ratio of each of the transformer okay so the neutral of the secondary is grounded for providing three phase four wire service and this connection is popular since it can be used to serve both the three phase power equipment and single phase lighting circuit okay so this connection is not open to the objection of a floating neutral and voltage distortion also so this is the basic theory about delta star connection now then we are going to have a look on losses in a three phase transformer okay this is there are different or various types of losses in a three phase transformer again uh, also we have seen the losses in a single phase transformer okay so ion losses are okay uh, in case of a, a single phase transformer we have two different ion losses core loss okay that is hysteresis loss and eddy current loss so ion losses are caused by the alternating flux in the core of the transformer and uh, <coughs> this loss is also occurred in the core it is called as core loss copper loss is because of the transformer winding resistance okay I square loss hysteresis loss as i told is because of the variation in the magnetization in the core of the transformer okay because of repeated procedure of magnetizing and demagnetizing there is a production of hysteresis loss in the core of the transformer and then eddy current loss okay so because of eddy current eddy current loss means what so when your flux links with the closed circuit and emf is induced in the core okay because of this flux and the core is made up of conducting metal as we know iron the emf circulates current within the body of the material okay and it produces a loss in the magnetic material known as eddy current loss okay so now advantage of three phase transformer so we are going to look and have the main part of the transformer it is advantages why we are using this so it is in respect it is inexpensive okay so compared to a single phase transformer the three phase transformer comes at a cheaper price it has low cost when compared with the three units of single phase transformer okay 
so either by purchasing three different single phase transformer it is very cheaper to produce or to purchase a three phase transformer it is also lightweight as compared to different three single phase transformer okay okay so as compared to the weight of the three single phase transformer our three phase transformer is lightweight it is also assembled in a least time or less time okay it is extremely easy to assemble we can get a single phase supply from a three phase transformer also just by having a single secondary while the opposite is not possible in case of we cannot get a supply from three different transformers three different single phase transformer okay but we can get the output of a single phase from a three phase transformer it has higher efficiency than the three phase transformer because it has more number of windings and more number of phases it also functions more effectively and delivers more power than the single phase transformer that's why it is used at the higher end it is easier to install okay and it is easy for transportation so as compared to the transportation of three different single phase transformer transportation of a single three phase transformer is very easy now this advantage we are going to have a look so first one is greater cost of standby unit so the individual cost of the standby unit is high and it makes it difficult to repair or fix any malfunctions or disruptions so in a three phase transformer a common core is shared by all three units you can you i think you have done we have done this so it has a common core shared by all the three units therefore it, if the unit is defective or it is damaged the entire three phase transformer has to be shut down so it is not uh, usual in case of a single phase transformer if any of the transformer is shut down we can use different transformer for the set, that side but in case of three phase transformer if it is malfunctioning then we have to shut down the entire transformer okay then cost of repair because of this disadvantage is high and also it has a reduced capacity okay so it is basically a self cooled transformer the capacity is also received, uh, reduced because of this then fault correction so in case if there is in fault in any of the phases of a three phase transformer the fault is transferred to the other two phases okay which makes the replacement of the whole unit again so applications of different uh, applications of a three phase transformer here they have given so uh, it is used for stepping up the level of voltage at the generation side that is 11 kv before the transmission and distribution okay and in distribution side at the receiver end this is at the sender end this is at the receiver end for commercial or domestic use of electricity the transformer step down the level of voltage so for example from 11 kV to 220 V single phase and 400 V three phase so at the distribution end we are receiving voltage like 11 kV from a 66 kV transmission line and this 11 kV is converted into 220 V single phases and 440 V three phase okay for the utilization of electricity at the consumer end consumers are we the people okay the current transformer and potential transformer are also used in power system and the industry these are used for the isolation purpose and for the measurement of very high electricity so in case of ct and pt the primary is the source and secondary is the measurement device that is the wire so these were simple uses and application of a three phase transformer so i think uh, we have covered the whole chapter i think and i uh, also have given the different numericals um, for you to solve like uh, i think we have solved this numerical okay and i think we have done with this numerical also now 
you try to solve example number 28 then 45 and 46 okay so these are very important parts okay as per the exam purpose also as per the knowledge purpose okay so do study well for the exam and i'll give you the assignments to solve to be solved okay so okay. i'll uh, this wrap for today i'll take a leave okay